processor and um, it's under warranty but this this electric pump up here the electric motor this fills the fuel filters and I went to um, change the fuel filters because they clogged up yesterday and it wouldn't fill them so I couldn't start it and uh, Caterpillar said that it was this so they they didn't have one they got it overnight but it would have been another day so I uh, drove up to uh, Brewer about an hour and a half to get the new one and um, The new one's in that bag, I'll show you that in a minute. But, I unhooked this, which is the electric pump part, and then I'll have to undo these two hoses, these, those two bolts, and that, and of course those, and then put the whole new one on. Hopefully that's the problem. So this is the new one right here there's the little electric pump that pumps the fuel and sorry for the noise I got the preheater running so but I've got to take these two caps off and there's there's two plugs on that side and then after I do those two hoses off to take those two fittings top and bottom and put them put them on the other side down here so but this is a warranty job. I decided to do it by myself just because uh, I drove up this morning to get the new cart and they didn't have it. So I would have lost today and another day. So instead of being stubborn and saying, no, nope, I'm gonna have Caterpillar do it. I'm just gonna do it myself and get going. Um, I'm fairly mechanically inclined, so this really shouldn't be that difficult. Those are some famous last words, but I'm, I'm pretty confident I'm capable of doing it. And once I get that off, I might take another little short video, and then once I get it back together, too. So we'll see in a bit. So I got the old one out here, in the back, and it looks like I just have to take these rubber grommets off and this slides out the back same up here it's basically like a bushing for up in there so that this thing can move and not be rigid so that shouldn't be take too long that's not too bad and um, I gotta take these two fittings out and put them on the other side the opposite side of you know this electric pump here so I'm going to do that, and then I'll be back. Well, alrighty. I got the new one. I got the fittings in. I got the plugs in. I got the grommets and the, these uh, like shims in here. All these three. Now I'll just put the three bolts. Those three bolts right there. Hopefully, mount this thing back up, hook the lines up, and hopefully it all works. So pretty much ready to go okay well I got the new one up in there and uh, I just shut the preheater off so that we could uh, hear the moment of truth whether I'm a mechanic or not or have any ability I'm gonna get up here and uh, we're going to We're going to take this plug here, we're going to plug it up in, up in there, right there, see? Okay, see then, oh, that filter was loose. And we'll pay attention to that. This is, this bowl is usually what fills up first, so. You watch that, there's a little bit of fuel in there from hooking up the lines and stuff, but watch that, we'll see 
if I'm good or not. So here we go. See what happens. There we go. Look at that. Look at that delicious pink off-road fuel. Well, it looks like I did my job. So, I got all the lines hooked up. Uh, bolts are tight. It's plugged in. Fuel filter's on. We should be good to go. So, I'll be back in a minute. I'll touch the key off, make sure everything works with you guys. See ya. Alrighty, well, we got the fuel filters primed. We'll go over here and see if she starts. Hopefully. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. Okay, we'll see what happens here. See if she goes. I'm not sure she's primed up enough yet, but we'll see. There we go! Eureka! Well, looks like I figured the problem out, so, or I was able to repair it. So, I gotta clean up all my tools here, take care of all my stuff, and um, I'll be back to cutting trees. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, look at that pine tree. Shitty devil. Um, if you guys like the video, subscribe. Don't be afraid to like it. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. But listen to that little kitty purr. We'll catch you later.